Now I'm sure that you've all been waiting uh, to hear from Stella Assange about her impressions, both about what's happened in the court and about what we should do next. So please do give her a very warm welcome. She's been through the hell of that court case for the last two, uh, two days and she wants to be with you here tonight, Stella Assange. Not just the turnout this evening coming here to Downing Street, but also over the past 48 hours. It's been incredible. Every time I got to court, I was greeted by this incredible, supportive crowd that was cheering us on. And uh, I, I told Julian all about how, how much support he has. And also, how much attention the media has given this case this time around. The world is watching. And finally, there's a realization about what this is really about, which is an attack on the truth, an attack on the public's right to know, and uh, a country's attempt to further their impunity and their cover-ups and continue uh, to kill uh, with impunity without the threat of a media that will scrutinize them, of a public that will demand change. Oh. That cannot stand. Everything turns on the outcome of this case. Whether states can criminalize journalism and put journalists in prison like they've been doing in the UK with an Australian citizen, a publisher who's won many, many awards for his journalism and they've stuck him in the deepest, darkest hole of the UK prison system and threaten and the U.S. threatens to put him in the deepest, darkest hole of the U.S. prison system for 175 years. Shame. Julian's imprisonment is a result of people with too much power who lost the plot, who got power thirsty, and are guilty. They know they're guilty and they want to continue to live their their lives without any consequences for the crimes they've committed. This case is about whether state crimes can continue unpunished, unscrutinized. Julian's freedom is the only antidote. We don't have a, a, a decision today. Julian's life is at severe risk every single day he is in prison. He is a political prisoner. He is the world's most famous political prisoner. We know what happened to the other most famous political prisoner last week. That cannot happen to Julian. It cannot be allowed to happen. The world is watching. Julian has to be freed. Now whatever happens in the coming days, we can't know, but we can know that we will be there for Julian and be there for, demo for our own democracy, our own future, our own ability to change policy, to change decisions, to change governments. Because if there's no scrutiny, we can't, we can't be informed, we can't be able to change uh, make an informed decision about who we elect. Our rights are at stake, but Julian's life is at stake. If he is extradited, he will lose his life. He will be killed. He will be killed by the country that has been plotting his assassination. And the court heard how the United States, under the previous administration, which may be the next administration, had plotted to assassinate him, who had plotted to poison him, who had plotted to kidnap him, who had plotted to uh, rendition him. Shame. Shame. Shame on those who put p journalists in prison. Shame on those who murder journalists. Shame on those who are afraid of the truth. That's not a society I want to live in. We're better than that. The 
The UK courts are also under scrutiny. They have heard about the murder plots against my husband. They are on notice that the country that is trying to extradite him has planned to murder him. They don't deny it. They just change the subject. The whole time we were in court, the other side somehow avoided to talk about what the, what the documents Julian published revealed. They didn't talk about the war crimes. They didn't talk about the 15,000 civilian killings in Iraq that were revealed. They didn't talk about their torture and rendition pro program. They didn't talk about uh, Guantanamo Bay. They simply changed the subject. Shame. This case is brought by criminals who want to maintain their impunity, who want to avoid the courts. They are the fugitives from justice, not Julian. Julian is justice. He is transparency. Yes! He is us. He is the public. Yes! And as long as Julian remains in prison, we are all in prison. And they are free. It cannot be. Free Assange. Free Assange. Be there for Julian. He would be there for you. He is there for you. He needs to be free. Free Assange.